Hello, hello, friends, family, and past and future clients of Carberry Custom Color. Um, I am here at a neighbor's house, actually. So before you're like, hey, I didn't know you did that, I don't anymore. So I'm going to show you this piece of furniture. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, that a neighbor of mine wants to have uh, painted to match another piece that she has that is uh, has a red patina finish to it. So we're going to do a two-step process. I just thought it'd be fun for you to see, uh, you know, something that I used to do years ago. Um, if you need a referral, I'd be more than happy to give you one for someone who paints furniture. But normally, I don't have time to do it anymore. As, as you guys know, we are busy, busy, busy. Um, you know, making the hamster wheel keep turning. So, um, but because she's my neighbor, here I am. So here's the hutch. Um, and we went ahead and got some, actually, I'm going to flip it around this way. Uh, we've got some chalk paint here. Um, and I went ahead and uh, did my best to, to match that. Um, and then we're going to put a dark wax uh, patina finish over the top to kind of get that uh, darker dirty patina look to it so this is what what it looks like currently um, and um, we're gonna get started here so I'm just gonna lightly sand I got my medium sander here I'm gonna just give a light sand over the top uh, you do not need to be using any type of electric sander by any means when you're using a chalk paint um, the chalk paint is magic for those of you who know uh, furniture refinishing so it really holds nicely um, you're gonna get those those brush strokes like like you'd like uh, when you're trying to go for that shabby chic look so um, I'm gonna get started here and then I will uh, take some before during and after pictures and show you what the finished product looks like so I will see you soon <laughs> 